Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm the head of operations for Rosé Parade. So today I'm going to be showing you my wardrobe. Unfortunately, we can't go actually in there because my closet's super awkward shaped and it's also not very pretty like some of the other wardrobe videos here on YouTube. So I'm just going to be pulling them out to show you. But first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself and why I decided to start Rosé Parade. As I said, my name is Jamie and I've been into Lolita fashion for almost 14 years and I've been wearing Lolita fashion for almost 12 years, which is just insane to me. I started out Lolita wanting to be super sugary sweet pastel and then I realized that kind of wasn't my vibe. So I'm trying to transition into more gothic, bittersweet or mature sweet vibe for my closet. So you'll see that pretty soon. Outside of Lolita, I have my degree in biology and creative writing. Besides that, I love to collect dolls, antiques, I collect phones, I'm super into astrology, and I absolutely love reading too. So that's just a little bit about me. The reason I wanted to start Rosé Parade is because I've been going to Lolita conventions for years. I've been going to the biggest one in Denver since 2007. And it's always super fun, but I am not personally into anime. I go for the Japanese pop culture stuff. So sometimes I felt like there wasn't as much for me to do. So because of that, I always had an idea that we should have more Lolita programming in Denver. But I also realized as I've gotten older that I absolutely love event planning. So stay tuned for September, 2022. We're going to have a three-day Lolita and J Fashion extravaganza. It's gonna be super awesome and I hope to see you all there. But that being said, let's get into my wardrobe. First, I'm going to start off by showing you my dresses because that's the best part. So I'll start off with the most iconic Jamie dress, which is Candy Sprinkle. This is one of the first AP pieces I bought. Um, Dream Marine was my first. And so I love this dress. It is so beautiful. I feel like it looks way better in person than it does on camera. Um, my favorite part about this dress is it has swans on it. I absolutely love that about this dress. And I actually had no interest in it until my best friend Kim bought this dress and I saw it in person and I just absolutely had to have it. I originally bought it in lavender, but one of the things that happened to me is I changed styles. I used to be a super sugary sweet or want to be a super sugary sweet Lolita. Then I realized that I kind of prefer um, less pastel colors and more darker themes. Although I still really love sweet, I much prefer to have things in black colorways. I feel like it looks better on my skin. So yeah, that's why I sold my lavender candy sprinkle and bought the black one. My next dress is Pastel a la Mode, and this is my oldest dress. Um, I believe this is 2006 Angelic Pretty, which I can show you. The tag is super old. Um, and one of the very interesting things about this dress is that the, the print on the bottom is like almost like iron-on applique. It's not part of the fabric, so it's really interesting. And I just loved the scalloped bottom. This is one of my all-time favorite dresses. It's so cute. Sometimes I think of selling it, but I'm like, no, I can never. My next dress is one that I had been wanting since I was a wee baby Lolita. Probably around, I don't know, 2009 or 2010, I used to go on the lolitafashion.org forums, and there was a Lolita on there who used to post daily outfits all the time. And this was one of the dresses she owned. And I absolutely loved all of her coordinates. And I remember looking at pictures and thinking that is one of the dresses that I'm going to own. So this is an Alice in the Pirates Sleeping Beauty dress. It is so gorgeous. It fits very well too. It's got shearing on the back. And then it's got little um, scenes from Sleeping Beauty, which actually is my favorite um, Disney movie too. My next dress is another one that has a lot of sentimental value to me, and that is Sugar Fairy Cake by Angelic Pretty. Um, the reason this dress has sentimental value to me is because when 
our anime convention used to bring Angelic Pretty to come and sell stuff. This dress had recently come out and I actually tried it on and I fell in love with it immediately. Uh, I can insert a picture here. And I wanted this dress more than anything, but I had no money at the time because I was pretty young. I think I was still in high school. And so there was no way for me to get this dress. So I tried it on and filed it back in my mind. And this year actually, in February before COVID hit, we had a swap meet and one of the Lolitas in our community was selling it. And obviously I had to pick it up because this is just one of my favorite dresses of all time. And it's also in the black colorway, which is my go-to. My next dress is one that I'm going to sell, unfortunately, because it doesn't fit me very well. And that is chocolate chess. Not only does it not fit me super well, but it doesn't go with a whole lot of stuff in my wardrobe. But I absolutely love this dress, don't get me wrong. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in perfect condition. The gold is just gorgeous. I, I love everything about this dress and I'm really sad to see it go, but I know it's gonna go to somebody who's gonna love it and wear it just as much as I would if it fit. <laughs> My next dress is called Beauty and the Rose Promise and it's by Alice and the Pirates. I also got this in a swap meet and the minute I saw it, I was like, I have to have that. It's so me. I love gray and I love black. So it's just perfect and I'm also, totally obsessed with pearls. So this dress is just absolutely adorable. I love it to death. And it's not one you see very often either. This one is Beauty and the Beast theme, so you can see the little rose on the bottom. And I love the chandeliers. It just makes it look very opulent and beautiful. Next up, we have Ghost Night Forest by Alice and the Pirates. This dress is my longest dress that I have. Um, it goes past my knees and I just love it. It's so beautiful and it's one of my only um, polyester dresses because I tend to prefer the cotton ones, but I still really like this one. Um, it's just a really nice standard dress and I actually traded it for some stuff that I've been wanting to sell forever because the, the girl I bought it from had two of them, so it worked out for me. My next dress is probably the one that I've had the longest out of this bunch because I've had a lot of wardrobe changes in my life. I, I've cycled through many dresses before, but this one's a tried and true. It's by Infanta and it's a beautiful damask dress. Um, I think I would call it a JSK because the sleeves aren't full sleeves and I do feel the need to wear a blouse underneath it, but I absolutely love the trim at the bottom. And this is just one of my standard dresses that has done me so good over the years. Finally, for my dresses, I have the Memorial Cake JSK by Angelic Pretty in Black. I adore this dress and I've only worn it once because the zipper broke and I need to get it replaced. So that's why it's unzipped, I apologize. But I just love how gorgeous and opulent it is. And I love the lace at the bottom. It's got little, little crowns, the classic AP crowns. But this is, one of my favorite dresses and I'm so excited to wear it once I finally get the zipper replaced. Next, I'll show you my skirts. So first up, I'll show you this one right here. This is a body line skirt actually, and it's pretty old. I'm not sure when. I got it uh, at another swap meet. That's where I get most of my stuff. Um, but the interesting thing is that it's actually lined really nice. So it's, it's a pretty nice old school body line skirt. My next skirt is this one from Infanta and it comes with this little removable vest attachment. Um, yeah, so it goes around your head like that. But I'm not sure what it's called, but I love this little clock, clock embroidery on it. And it's got some navy blue fabric right underneath it. This is also probably one of my oldest pieces and I've worn it so many times. Um, this one's really been been through it all with me. Thank you, Infanta. Next is another body line skirt. This one's really basic, cute body line skirt with little hearts on it. Um, it used to have lace on the top that was white, but I thought it looked kind of tacky, so I ripped it off. I believe I only spent like $12 on this, so this is a pretty good find. Um, I wanna wear it more, cause I don't, I don't wear it very often. I've been 
not in as much of a skirt mindset lately, so hopefully I'll change that this year. Next is a two-piece set, and it's also from Bodyline, and it's actually, it's actually pretty nice velvety material. Um, this is the skirt. It's got elastic around the whole entire band, so that's pretty interesting, but it's it's pretty cute standard skirt, but what really is cute about this set is the coat, and I wear this coat all the time. Um, I guess I would call it more of a jacket, but yeah, this is what the jacket looks like. It's got these really cute cuffed sleeves, and I love these this little set, it's just adorable. Got it at a swap meet, of course. So I'm just gonna pan over my blouses so this video isn't a million years long. So here are my black blouses. Here are my colored blouses. Here are my long sleeve blouses. Here are my cardigans. And here are some of my accessories. Here is some of my leg wear. And finally, my three lone pairs of shoes. My shoe game really sucks, so I definitely have to get more. I'm not going to be taking any footage of any jewelry because I have a ton of jewelry and a lot of it I use in my everyday wear and there's a lot of pieces missing from my accessories as a whole because I wear a lot of it in my everyday wear. Here's a little tiny snippet of my closet. Um, these are all my bags. I collect Betsy Johnson bags which I feel like go with Lolita pretty well. Um, my collection's pretty big so each of those bags has more bags inside so I'm not going to be showing all of it but Here's just a sneak preview. So there it is, there's my whole wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really wanted to post um, my wardrobe because I know there's a lot of people online who have these giant wardrobes that are really awesome and totally something that I look toward as a goal. Um, but I do think it's important to show that not everybody has five million dresses because you know it's expensive and it takes a really long time. I've been into the fashion for 14 years and I don't have a whole lot of clothes, you know, um, and that's partially because I change styles. Sometimes you sell things, sometimes you grow out of things, so it's okay to have a, a reasonable wardrobe. I'm trying to make mine more like a capsule wardrobe at this point and try to make sure that everything I have matches with other things that I have um, because I've been known to just buying things I like instead of looking at what's actually in my closet and what will go with it. So if you're new in Lolita, I highly suggest um, choosing a color or a couple colors and staying within that little color palette for your wardrobe. It'll be a lot easier. And then also buy a lot of accessories. I feel like the best way to make your main pieces um, last longer, not last as in stay together longer, but to feel like they're new for longer is to use a lot of different accessories with it. So head bows, lots of pairs of socks, lots of blouses, and you're all good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below any suggestions you have for our channel. Next up, we're going to be showing Ray's amazing wardrobe in about a week, so stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching.